Oh, right now. Let's get back to some more films, huh? You are a charming panel, and I try from time to time to be a good moderator, but this show would have been nothing without the remarkable people that we've had as contestants week after week. Now, here's just a small sample. March 5th, 1953. Well, yeah. <laughs> and on the very same show... And on March 9th, 1955... I thought I was really going to stump the uh, panel on September 9th, 1953. We brought out a very pretty girl whose secret was, I don't understand a word of English, only Italian. I taught her to say yes if I tapped her on the knee once, and no if I tapped her on the knee twice. All the panelists were stumped except one. And wouldn't you know who it would be? Is what? Gary doing something to you? <laughs> she says yes. Yes. Why don't you stop him? Is not allowed. Oh. Is Gary tapping you? Yes. Is he tapping you so many times for yes and so many times for no? Is your yes. secret that you do not speak English? Yes! <laughs> then on June 8th, we had a man whose secret was I throw knives at my mother-in-law. And he did. He did, too. Oh, I remember that. Don't worry, he missed you. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> On February 10th, 1954, we had a delightful man with a delightful secret. He couldn't speak English either, so we had an interpreter. This is what his secret was. This. Well, that's it. Now, 11 months later, we brought that same delightful man back again. Same interpreter, new secret. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> Well, I'll be a schmutziger fagel. What do you know? <laughs> On December 23rd, 1953, we had a contestant from Columbus, Kansas, and his hobby, if you remember, was saving string. 338 miles of it. 338 miles What are you going to do with it? Build it big. Oh, you you're going to build it bigger. You're going to build it bigger? Yep. I hope you will notice this is not just any old string. This is all the same... That is right. Same gauge? <laughs> yes, sir. Well, sir, uh, here's your money. You didn't win too much, but uh, by the way, it will, it will go past Pittsburgh. If you go north, it'll reach to Augusta, Maine. If you go uh, northwest, it'll uh, stop right in the middle of Lake Erie. So be careful. Don't go northwest. <laughs> okay. And we want you to have a present, sir, from, from us and from the uh, from Cavaliers and from Goodson Todman, who are the producers of our show, another piece of string. <laughs> And on March 23rd of 1955, panel, we stumped you with the longest secret that we ever had. Unbelievable. Yes? <laughs> yes? <laughs> and then? Those are some of the highlights of what happened uh, from our many, many, many contestants. Uh, I look around at our panel of four and uh, was just trying to figure out while I was watching some of the film as to uh, what is the, our, our uh, rotation as far as long length of service on the program. Who's the original settler on here? Bill? Bill and I. I think Jane and I started the third week of the show, Gary. Yeah. 
Oh, really? You started on the same yes. week? On the same on the week, same week uh, Jane and I, yeah. Four right. years ago. Four years. I had thought that Bill was the oldest settler, but maybe just because he looks maybe. older. In age, he's the oldest. Yes. No. How do you mean that? <laughs> 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 well, let's see then. Bill and Jane started on the same week, and Faye with me. Were you on next, or was no, it was it was it all hands? No, I think Henry came on. Henry. Uh, no. No, I think. Uh, no, because we came on together. I remember, I said I would go on if I could sit next to Henry. That's right. <laughs> Henry was third. And uh, Henry? Yes. Faye and no, I was third, and uh, Faye was fourth. That's right. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, anyhow, the uh, five of us have been together for uh, most of the the run, uh, the track record on this thing, and I, for one, not not hope we all stick together for a good long while. Um. Now let's stop and have just a word about it. That's why we put this piece of wood up here, just for knocking purposes tonight. Yeah, everybody knock. <laughs> now then, on to more film. We have had 208 celebrity guests on I've Got a Secret. We think we have picked the funniest tonight. Our guest was Fat Jack Leonard, and his secret was simply, I am eating the world's largest hot fudge sundae. And what was funny was the way that he made the panel ask the questions. Look and weep. We will start the questioning with Bill Cullen, please. All right. Uh, Jack. Yes? celebrated their ship's 10th anniversary right here on our stage. a gift for your ship. This is one oh, of three television sets which the Winston people Jerry. are giving to the USS Lady. Mighty wonderful of you. We keep a quarter of the crew aboard at all times and I know they will thoroughly enjoy it. Good. Now, your rating, sir, is captain. Am I right? That's correct. 
I hate to tell you this, but this television set is an admiral. <laughs> It'll do a wonderful job for you, I know. Now, so that all of us can take uh, place in this really very happy celebration, a very proud one, too, I suggest to both you folks out there and us folks up here get together in a hip, hip, hooray for the lady, and we'll do it this way. You folks in the audience on my cue holler hip, hip. The crew up here will holler hooray. Then hip, hip, hooray, hip, hip, and hooray. You ready? Here we go. Hip, hip. I can say after watching this film is if it all had to end tonight, it's been worth it. Fortunately, it doesn't have to all end tonight. There'll be another show next week when we start our fifth year. Before we knock it off, has anybody got any comments you'd like to make, uh, Henry? Uh, I had a small thought, Gar. What's that? Uh, and it's something I've thought for a long time, I imagine, but after seeing the film, I know it's true. And I bet the other kids here feel probably the same way. We have too much fun. We shouldn't take money for it. <laughs> Mark, did you make a note of that? <laughs> You've just done yourself in, Faisy. I was going to say exactly that. We've had a lovely time. We hope you'll keep on doing it. Well, tonight we showed the ones that were fun. Some nights they get to be work every now and then, I must confess. I felt exactly like I was at a party seeing home movies. Yes. Well, Good. Maybe we can wonderful. dig up some more and run these. We can Love all stay it. home. <laughs> Bill? Well, Gary, I agree with Henry about having too much fun, but after what I heard him say about the money, I'm glad he had to show up in his underwear about three weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> he may be wearing a scout on it. Huh? Oh. Okay, Joe. Well, it looks like that everyone has... Um, finished all the enjoyment we have at hand. Most of the cupcakes are gone. However, uh, there is, this is not the end of the festivities. As most of you know, uh, next door, our friendly innkeeper has laid out a vast spread of turkey and ham and uh, potables. And <laughs> <laughs> so you're all invited next door and we're all going to be there together for a birthday celebration. So I'll uh, tell you what you do, Rog Peterson, if you'll take your big fat bass drum and start beating and lead off. Everybody, everybody follow on out the stage door and turn to your right. Uh, Joe and John Cannon, is John Cannon around? Our announcer, John Cannon. Uh, Joe, I don't want to get left out on the now party, so I'll give this to you as stage manager, and you give the official word to John Cannon and do the announcement. Okay, Gary. So, friends, until next week, then, we start our fifth year. This will be Gary Moore saying bye-bye for all of us. Be very kind to each other with you. Goodbye out there. Uh, John, if you take this and uh, give the final announcement, I want to go to the party. Okay, Joe. Ladies and gentlemen, travel arrangements for I've Got a Secret are made through United Airlines. United Airlines flies our contestants in fast new DC-7 mainliners. This has been a Mark Goodson, Bill Cobman production. saying good night and I'm going to go to that party. So long everyone.